have a Stephen Lee day. Merry Christmas. And I'm here to show you my collection of Christmas ornaments, part three. Welcome to my dining room table full of ornaments. I'll start with these boxed packaged ones. Um, a solid cardboard box with these graphics of Santa and Uncle Sam shaking hands on the box was a marketing tool used to lead the customer to believe that even Santa is on board with the war effort. No mercury or tinsel would have been used in the making of these Christmas balls at this time, probably 1940s and 50s. And then this is a peekaboo box of glass ornaments. Um, and this became popular after cellophane um, became widely used during World War II to make rain caps for soldiers like 1939 through 1944. Cellophane covered boxes made it possible for you to see the colors and shapes of the ball ornaments to the consumer in the stores. These are some of my West German cap stamped rainbow glass balls from after 1941. These were as pretty early hand blown red glass balls from the 20s. Mass, fat, mass manufactured balls use molds and there will be a fine seam in the glass to look for when determining the age of manufacturer and country of origin. After World War II, a lot of plastic, felties, and flock tree ornaments were made in Japan through the 1970s. After Hiroshima and the 1945 and the second atomic bomb was dropped in Japan, surrendered by 1952. Japan signed a Peace of Reconciliation Treaty in which the United States set up a form of government to help rebuild the cities and provide jobs, provided U.S. military bases and rebuild factories, which launched trade for the U.S. and Japanese consumer to be stimulated after war. That's where a lot of these type ornaments were made from and made it over here for our consumers. American glass companies progressed and expanded at this time in the late 50s, late 60s. New plastics were advertised as unbreakables. They had been improved in durability shininess and were safer than earlier plastics or celluloids, which tended to be dull and become brittle over time. This is some of my Jewel Bright collection. Popular shapes at this time were the teardrop, the concaves, dioramas, lanterns, atomic stars or Sputniks, and mid-century modern UFOs. You could find all of these ornaments alongside one another with individually sold glass balls, which could have been hand painted. Also, they sold in three packs, six packs, 12 packs at the hardware store, department stores, five and tens, catalogs, pharmacies, and even grocery stores. Christmas decorating was a mod mid-century pop culture, feel good, explosion of the times. These are just a handful, a tote maybe, of some of the ornaments that I've collected and that have been handed down. We found over um, searching in antique malls and auctions, yard sales, um, thrift, thrifting forum. We've had a lot of fun finding these little cuties and we've decorated in the past on numerous trees 
with these vintage items. I've got some faves. I'm going to point them out to you. <laughs> these ceramics or these hand painted ones here are <laughs> super cute. They were just something in the 70s that you'd go um, get a ceramic um, mold and just hand paint it right there at the fair or right there at the street fair then take them home with you. Another ceramic. <laughs> um, of course, glass bell with a little partridge in there. I have a set of these little celluloid plastic um, tree huggers. Well, I guess they're not tree huggers. Just toting a tree. This one's throwing a snowball. This one's keeping his hands warm in his pocket. We got some carolers in the cellulite plastic. Too cute, right? Too cute. Let's see why he's my favorite. These little Japanese um, felties are some of our nearest and dearest. Some of them still have stickers on them for Japan. I don't know if you can see them. They are sometimes copyrighted Japan 72. It's in really good shape. This one as well. You'd probably put some Hershey Kisses in him and hang him on the tree. He's also 72. This is a little Dennis the Menace. I think this is 77. And the gnomes and the pixies. Elves, pixies. That's it. Fairies have wings. Pixies do not. They have pointy hats. Elves have pointy ears. So here we are with some of these little chenille candy canes in the top of a plastic boot, as well as <laughs> the felty bear. Of course, <laughs> yeah, pixie gnome in Santa garb. And some of my mousies. These little reindeer with the red <laughs> felt on them and their little faces and buck teeth. So cute. And then they have these little um, dawn dolls. You little decorated Dawn dolls. They like pop the heads off of Dawn dolls, which were tiny little Barbies, and put her on a clothespin and dressed her up for ornaments. Might be, this might be one of my husband's favorites because he loves deer, and this is a cutie patootie. Huh? These are paper mache and they are both made in Japan. Cute. If you like some of my Christmas collection, make sure you like and subscribe. We have lots more. Don't worry, lots more to come. 
Like and subscribe. Have a Stephen Lee day. Bye, y'all.